Welcome to Highfield Think Tank TV, Kasoma Farouk of Uganda. Today, I'm going to show you some of the questions that can be set in the history and political education new curriculum. This will guide you on how to set so many other questions and in the process you'll succeed and move from one level to another level. So we are saying today, the question is, Kasoma Farouk of Uganda Foundation has established a museum. Suggest four ways at how it will benefit your community. So you are expected to give answers. Some of the answers are, we are saying today, the learners will, it will help the learners to become creative. The museum will help the learners to become creative as they will look at the past things and this will enable them to create new things which will help them to move on. Another one, students will use it for study and research purpose. This museum will help the students to research more things and study purposes, to know what exactly happened in the early years, and this will help them to shape their future. Another one, it will be used for tourism from students, parents, and people in the community. So we are saying this museum will be used by students for tourism. And the parents, of course, will come and see the different things that uh, took place in the early years. Then it will help the learners learn more about their culture and traditions. In this, the learners will be able to learn about their culture. If someone is a Muganda, will get to know how the Baganda used it to behave in the early years. If someone is a Munyankore, this will help him to know how the Bajankore used to behave in the early years. And of course, this will help our culture to be kept for generations to come. Because if the generation is to develop and to move on, people have to know what exactly happened in the early years.